Okay, as you've just seen, to knock someone out is to make someone unconscious. Usually by hitting them very hard, often in the head area. Yeah. So again, we can talk about a boxer、mm. knocking his opponent out with a powerful punch. That's right. And next, it says he is attacked by the hound. <laughs> Remember that robot book hunting dog? But he destroys the hound as well. Does、he's、he go? Does he、rampage. knock out the dog, or、he's、does he set the, it on he fire? He sets it on fire. He's got、Ow. that flamethrower thing. I think he might do other things. I can't quite remember. I'm, I'm kind of. Cheering for Montag, but he、yeah. sounds a little crazy at this I point. I think he's been pushed too far. Is、yeah. what's happened. So、right. Montag then recovers a few books、really? from his burning house、okay. and escapes. Go,、okay. Montag, go! So to recover something, recover spelled R E C O V E R, recover. This means to regain possession of, and in this case, it can also mean to save. Okay.、Ah. So he's、uh, getting his books back. He almost、mm-hmm. thought them. Lost to the fire, but he recovered them. He pulled them out、ah. before they got burned. You could also say, "I dropped my wallet in the swimming pool, but managed to recover it before it sank to the bottom." Oh, you saved it! You got it back,、yeah. and it didn't get too di- badly damaged.、Mm-hmm. Well, what does he do with the books he recovers? The article says he hides them in another fireman's house.、Oh. And calls in to report it, so he's now getting this other fireman in trouble. When you call in something, you basically are calling someone, often by telephone, to report something, to give them important or useful information. For example, if you're sick, you might want to call into work or、mm-hmm. your school and say, "I'm sick. I'm not coming to work today." You're calling in to give them that information. For example, after making the deal, the salesman called in to tell his manager. Hey, boss. Good news.、His、boss wanted to know that, so he told him as quickly as possible. Okay, so Montag is still—he's put those books in. He's going to ruin the fireman's reputation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We mentioned that yesterday. He also makes it to Farber's house. Ah, the professor, the English professor, who's been helping him with some、uh, advice and information. He makes it to Farber's house, and the two plan to leave. Okay, that's like、mm. that's it. After all that's happened, we've got to skip town here. Where are they going? Well, first we need to look at the phrase、okay. "make it to somewhere."、Yeah. If you make it to somewhere, you successfully reach somewhere, and the phrase implies that this was either difficult for some reason, or you may not have actually、oh. got there. So, for example, despite the bad weather, the ship finally made it to the port. Oh, okay. So, you know, if a plane just lands, that's normal. But、mm-hmm. if the plane's in bad weather, you say, "Phew, we made it to the airport." Right. You often say, "You make it to somewhere on." Time showing we got there in time. Showing that the trip was dangerous or difficult,、yeah. but you were successful in、mm-hmm. the end. All right. Well, Faber will go to the printer. Remember,、yeah. they're going to make more books to try to fight against the firemen who、mm-hmm. are burning them. So he goes to the printer, the factory where they make the books.、Yeah. Basically, it's in St. Louis, believe it or not. Oh, really? In、okay. the book, the printer is in St. Louis in、so. America. Well, Montag will do something else. It says he will join some book lovers Faber has heard of in the country. Countryside, so they're going to split up. It's harder for the police to catch them that way, I guess. While、well, one prints the books,、uh, Montag, the hero, will go out to join some book lovers in the countryside. Why are they in the countryside? Because the countryside is outside of the city.、Mm-hmm. It's a noun, country, c o u n t r y side, s i d e. It's one word. Generally, if you're not in the city, you're probably in the countryside. There could be mountains in the countryside. There could be farms in the countryside. But The idea is there are not a lot of people, not a lot of big buildings. It's the country or the countryside. For example, living in the countryside is a lot more relaxing than living in a big city. Yes,、yeah, so、you、true. can imagine why these book lovers live out there because、right. it means they can hide from the, the firemen. The police aren't there. Yeah, they can read their books or keep them and not get bothered.、Mm-hmm. Before that,、Uh-oh. however,、Uh-oh. Montag is chased through the city、Ooh. by helicopter news crews. Wow. And more hounds. Those robot dogs more again. More robot dogs. So there's a big TV <sighs> news chase. They're following him with cameras. Like the fugitive is escaping down this way. This、and、is like on the real news. More robot dogs are after him.、That's、yeah, not、like、the it's real crazy.、News. Wow. So there we talked about helicopters.、Mm. Okay, a helicopter is a flying vehicle that uses two spinning sets of blades to make it move. One on the top, one on the side, or sometimes two on either side.、Mm-hmm. And unlike an airplane, a helicopter can go. 
straight up and down, as well as forwards and backwards. And sideways. Through the air, yeah. It's a yeah. bit more maneuverable than an airplane, although they generally can't go as fast. That's true, and they're hard to fly. Okay, uh, for example, the millionaire has a private helicopter mm. to take him from city to city. Really? Him too? Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, I have... AMC must pay you a lot more than they pay me. I have two. One's on... One's upstairs. Anyways. Uh. At last, Montag manages to get away, crossing a river and wearing Faber's clothes so the hounds can't track him. Uh. Mm, he's a smart guy, our hero, so he yep. gets away. That means he escapes. They're not chasing him anymore. And mm -hmm. I guess the different clothes, these Robot dogs may be robots, but they can smell people. They can. If he's wearing different clothes, they won't know who he is. Yeah, that's why he crosses the river as oh, well, true. so they can't follow the smell. He gets out, puts on different clothes, yeah. so he's got a different smell, so they mm, never find him again. Very that's smart. what we mean by track. To track someone means to follow them by their smell, their footprints, by other signs. Mm -hmm. So you could track an animal, or a big nasty animal could track you. That's right. So in the countryside, mm -hmm. Montag meets the book people oh, okay. and their leader, Granger. Okay, so he finds these guys, or they kind of find him, they're in the forests, and they call themselves the book people. Granger is their leader. Okay, so what, are, what about these book well, people? Well, they're doing very important work out there in the countryside. Mm -hmm. It says they have memorized many books and hope to use their knowledge to help people. Wow, they're turning themselves almost into computers or, or book banks or a human mm -hmm. library. If you memorize something, you read it many, many, many times. You learn it very, very, very well so that it sticks in your memory so that you don't forget it. For example, actors might have to memorize what they say in a play. They can't oh. stand there and read it. Or if you're going to take a test, you might want to memorize a lot of information so that if they ask you about it on the test, you can answer without checking a book or the internet or anything like that. Mm -hmm. For example, yes, actors, the actors have to memorize all their lines before the end of the month. Oh, <sighs> the pressure. That's a lot of work. Okay, memorize is spelled M-E-M-O-R-I-Z-E. -E. Memorize, okay? So they're remembering all these important books Okay, so that the knowledge, these useful things, are never going to be forgotten. Okay. Since the real books have been burned, they have to remember them, and then maybe they can write In or help future, print a right. new one. Yeah, that's a good so idea. So they, this is the book people, they hear that war has been declared on the US. It's not clear who's declaring war or who's fighting, but a war is certainly beginning, mm -hmm. and Montag City is being destroyed. Oh my okay? gosh. Yeah, this is this is kind of, there's bits of war mentioned throughout the actual book. Okay. okay. It's only at the end it kind of becomes an important thing that happens. But we use the phrase declare mm. war. So declare is spelled D-E-C-L-A-R-E, -E, declare. And that means to formally announce the beginning of something, including a war. Right. For example, Britain declared war on Germany after it invaded Poland in 1939, kind of kicking off World War II. That's right. It was an official announcement mm. from the government. We often use declare in sort of an important official way. Yes. Like that. For, uh, back to the article, it says, Montag and the book people, they hope to find survivors and build a new civilization. Mm. So this war has come. Many people might die in the war, because that's what happens in the war. But the book people are looking to the future, saying in the future, will bring back all this knowledge and everything will hopefully be better for the survivors of the war. A survivor, S-U-R-V-I-V-O-R, a survivor, it's a noun, is someone who lives through a very difficult or dangerous situation. If you were in an accident and you might have gotten hurt, but the important thing is you didn't die, you are a survivor. For mm -hmm. example, the last survivor of the sinking of the Titanic died in 2009. Mm. Wow, the Titanic sank in 1912, 20 something, 1912 or, uh, yeah, I think. Very Though she time. was only a baby when it happened. When it happened, there you go. She survived. She lived through that terrible accident. We also saw the word civilization, mm. which is the society and culture of a particular group of people in a particular place or time. Mm. So to build a new civilization means we're going to start things new, we'll have new schools, new houses, new mm -hmm. ideas. And that's that's basically the plan of the book people. And that's where mm. the novel ends, okay? Oh, really? Yep, that's with this kind of looking towards the future. And that's where we're also going to end off so we can go to today's For You chat question.